X's and O's with Leroy Butler. Now, here's Tom Silverstein. Hello, everyone. Welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. We have a couple plays that will be of interest to you, I think. One of them is from the Saints victory on Sunday night. And this was a play that was kind of a head scratcher because it was third and two at the Packers 10 yard line late in the first half. And uh, they did not have any timeouts left, correct? No timeouts, nine seconds. Right. And so, you know, they got to go into the end zone pretty much, don't they? Here? Exactly. Okay. So, show us what we have. What kind of coverage are the Packers about to play as we look at this first photo? Well, first of all, uh, you got you got three guys rushing. Mm-hmm. So, he's going to have time. Right. Well, we're playing quarters. Okay. Now, let's just have some fun. Say this. When- Say this is Eugene Robinson and this is Leroy Butler. First of all, I'm going to say we're playing quarters. Let me tell people what quarters is. So okay, go ahead. basically you're cutting the field into four, correct? Yep. And this guy is one, this guy is two, this guy is three, and this guy is four. And then you almost have another little quarters underneath there too. Exactly. But uh, a little different because you can't count him. Anyways, go go ahead. Sorry. Well, no, no, no. I think that's important sometimes. But Packer fans, they know what. That is. Yeah. If this, yeah. They're smart people. Okay. So back to what you were saying about you and Eugene. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have some fun. This is Eugene, real quick. This is this is me. Okay. Now, what I would tell Eugene, we're in quarters. Listen, you help this guy. I'm going to rotate to the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. And you tell the guy at the bottom, you're on your own. Why would you do that? Because there's uh, all these receivers up here and only one guy here? Well, yeah, you do a numbers. You do a number. You think this guy may go under. You know, he's on a short split. So why would you double him? The threat is on this side. Because they run what we call a dagger, and this guy goes into the flat. They're trying to clear out space, Tom. Yeah. They want the receivers, the safeties to go like this, which they did. Now, okay, back to responsibilities, because I think this is where the frustration for coaches. Now, again, they it looked like some kind of communication here, right? right. It looked like some kind of communication. communication communication there so we'll go to the second picture and then i'll get into how it's supposed to work now eight seconds left one throw now remember defensive back guys you only got three guys rushing he's gonna have time Mm -hmm. okay go through his progression so now you have to recognize the route now summers he should be sitting no i'd say right about here really he should okay. be a little deeper because he's going to help if they just get – there's no throw, they'll throw it to Kamara, and we already know – we already saw that movie, how that ends. But you have Sullivan, come on back here. Yeah, come back here and force him to throw it to Kamara, and we come up and make the tackle, okay? that's Who, what we who has the tight end back here, though? Um, who's running? I think it's a tight end. Uh, sorry, here we go. Um, you saying Jared Cook in the flat? No, down at the bottom. Who's got sorry, my pen isn't working. Here we go. Uh, right here. Well, well, that's Savage, right? Yeah, Savage is sitting there, he's supposed to be sitting doubling. What this guy stay in his quarters, uh huh. He's supposed to stay in his quarters, which he has good depth right now. But you got to keep your shoulders square so you can go left or right. Once you turn, you can only go in one direction. Okay. And what Joe Breed is reading, he's reading Redmond, and he's reading, you know, 31, Amos. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people think that it's on Kevin King, but it's not. 
Kevin King stays in his quarters. Let's look at the next one, kind of give us an yeah. idea. There you go. So now, this is King up, uh, up at the top. We have Kevin King here. This yep. is Redman, right? Yes. Now, and they're running two skinny posts, basically, behind uh, Jared Cook, who's running that right. flat route that you said. And this is Raven Green. And this is his assignment, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. But the window that he created, I thought it was a pick. This Redman should be read about here. See, he's too far over. Yeah. And, and then you would think Saunders would be more in the middle. Yeah. And you know what? I forgot that Alexander's back here. So Savage has that ability. He knows Alexander can cover one on one. Yeah. Sullivan's got Camara. So he does have some freedom, right? To yes. come this That's way. Why I... Yes. That's why I said if it was me and Eugene, I would tell Eugene to go here. I'm going to go here and pick this thing off. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom, you are locked up. You're our best corner. You're locked up. You ain't going to get no help. That's why we're going to pay you a max deal. Right. But Drew Brees would have immediately, if we had shifted like this, he would have just dumped it off to Kamara and just hope, and then you get a field goal instead of a touchdown. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the next one. And this is – Basically, we see what the result is. And Redman, we see, is here, but it's over his head. And yeah, he go to number four. Go to number late. four. Go to number four, picture. The one before this? No, the one after this one. I think this is all we got. Yeah. Well, oh, go back. Go back. This is the last yeah, that's the one I want. Okay. See, you see 25 here. You don't even see 31, and you don't see 25. Amo should be picking this ball off or Redmond. Remember, you got three people rushing. You got eight deep. <laughs> and he was able to fit this in. Yeah. Yep. So it's um, learning because guess what, Tom? You're going to see it again <laughs> against Atlanta. Yeah, especially. It, just too many guys. There's eight guys back there. You should be able to stop a four-man route. Exactly. Okay. So now let's um, go and take a look at the Atlanta Falcons. And one guy, we know about Julio Jones. We don't know if he's going to play. Mm -hmm. But they added a really good deep threat in Calvin Ridley. And we'll go to this uh, play from the Bears game on Sunday where the Falcons, Calvin Ridley, ate them to, for breakfast. And – Here's a play where I, I'm sure we'll see this again, but they're basically in a run formation. They've got uh, a fullback, and they got a fullback here. Hang on. There we go. A fullback here and a tight end here and an eye formation. That looks like a run play, right? Yeah, and you could look at – and you, you were kind of breaking up a little bit there, but you can see the split – of the wide receivers so this this was targeted for jackson okay jackson. but in the perfect world they want this to be 26 okay mm -hmm. that's a weird six but that's who they want because they think he's a little bit too aggressive and they just need you to bite one time right. but i'm gonna give 26 some tools for free that can help him defend this play. And we'll get into that in a second. But the first thing as a safety time, I look at the splits of the wide outs and I also look at that it's in I backs. Mm -hmm. So now at this particular time, I'm thinking based on my film study, these guys like to throw deep, but they like to do it making me think about something totally different for what they want to do. So they got Gurley in an I back. That's a run formation. Mm -hmm. The pro set. That means one tight end, two wide receiver, two backs. But, again, my film study tells me, Tom, that Matt Ryan is one of the best ball handling quarterbacks. As a matter of fact, him and Aaron Rodgers are two of the best. You see uh, Jackson here. He's, he's looking, oh, it looks like run here. 
and they want him to take one step mm -hmm. to come up. That's it. And here's the play action fake, which is really good. And yeah. you know, you, you got the linebackers coming up to to play you and, and everything you want. Yeah, when you have the linebackers ready, your safeties have to kind of hold first, don't they, before they bite on this? Uh, repeat that. Your your safeties have to hold a little bit, don't they? Uh, well, I, I have a rule, and I never break this rule. Anytime I can see the quarterback's name, I get depth. Ask me why. Just say why, Leroy. Why? Anytime he's doing that, he's trying to get me to think it's run. But I have a rule. If I can read your name, Ryan, he's trying to do play action. But guess what? Say if it is run. I got a bunch of people up here to take care of that. Mm -hmm. I got to make sure they call me a safety for a reason. Okay. You, you have it's to protect of... it. Anytime yeah. you see a quarterback's name, Get depth, and they all they need is Jackson to take one step. Okay, because every, step you that take, here. every step you take really is climbing, and that's exactly what happened. And so, what we have is uh, Jackson, a safety, covering one of the fastest wide receivers in the game, Calvin Ridley, and he's started from here, right, instead of starting from here. Exactly. Now, now, you can see Fuller drops him. Now, in a perfect world, you want Fuller to stay here. Right. Okay? But the one thing, I, if it was me and Eugene again, Eugene would say, okay, great. This guy right here, you're going to get help from the linebackers in the offside corner. I am going to rotate here to give you some help and pick that thing off. Mm -hmm. But Matt Ryan does seize that. He throws it oh, over, the, and we'll see in the next picture, outside. Yeah, he makes a really nice throw. Here's another look at that from uh, the end zone. And we see mm -hmm. here's, here's the safety that you're talking about. Yep. You want him to come over this way. And here's the corner that bit on this route. Right. Uh, let's talk about that. Is that the right move for him? Well, it's based on coaching. Some coaches like you to do it, and some coaches say, nope, stay on your guy and stay in your quarter. They're playing quarters. Mm -hmm. These are all quarter beaters. The first one we showed against the Saints and this one. They think the offense thinks play action <clears> – <throat> excuse me – play action – we just need one of the safeties to bite to be too aggressive. If both safeties get depth, it's a dead play. You got to throw the check down, and it's over. Yeah. So we That's need one guy who's really aggressive, and that guy they're hoping is savage. And, and as you said with Ryan, this ball is going to really come out about, yes. right? Well, it's probably a little bit more like over here. Yes. Because, but it's leading him, you know, he's going to catch it out here. Yeah. And that's just a great throw on, on Ryan's part. And we'll take a look at it at the end here. And there it is. Yeah, see that? I mean, could you put that in a better place? I don't think so. That's perfect. You threw it away from the safety. The middle guy is rotating and you threw it to an area that's the soft area of the zone. Yeah. And he got all the way down to the one yard line here and, and then they scored. Yep. So that was a big play, and Ridley beat them several times. And uh, maybe if Julio Jones doesn't play, the Packers put Jair Alexander on him and have him follow him around. Uh, no question. But if Julio Jones plays, then they got they got some issues. They got I would feel good if Julio Jones played. That's why you drafted Kevin King, a six three cornerback, to come in and cover Julio Jones. Remember now, uh, Kevin King's rookie year, he was put on Julio and played pretty well, but he got banged up. So that would be a good matchup if he plays. Mm -hmm. But I would want Jair Alexander on Calvary, really, regardless. Yeah. You know, that's your speed guy, and so is Alexander. He's your speed guy, and I like Alexander in that matchup. But, again, 
Don't look in the backfield, defensive backs. Mm -hmm. You can always come up and make a tackle. Yeah. The Falcons are hoping you peep and look. Just one step is three steps to a receiver running clean, scot free. Now you can slow that down, put your corners in bump, but they got to get a jam to slow them down. Yeah. And it, I mean, you're playing Gurley, uh, running back that's. It's not the scat back type. He's a bigger guy. He's going to take some time. So if they give it to him, you can always come up and tackle him. What you can have is these 50 and 60 and 30 and 40-yard passes. Right. That cannot help putting that on film when you're trying to get to the Super Bowl. Okay. Good. Well, we hope you enjoyed those. Uh, we're still working on the technology, but it's it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty fun to do this. So – uh, you have some sponsors you want to talk? Yeah, I want to thank Vinny right. Sausage Company. Uh, I want to thank Pick and Save, Ivanhoe's Pub and Eatery for being great sponsors. We really appreciate it. And always, Pick and Save. All right. And don't forget to catch us on Facebook at about 6.30 on Monday, Monday night before the uh, Monday night game against the Falcons on Facebook Live on uh, face, Leroy's Facebook page and on JS Online and Packers News. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you're underwater. Yeah, yeah, that's a mouthful for me. So well, if you have some questions, though, for me at Tom, you can go to our Twitter page at Tom Silverstein and at Leap36. Maybe we'll get a couple of questions in this week. Yep, definitely. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye.